you know it's bound to kill alongside gold up Have them get like money fold up Greetings Earthlings, welcome to another episode of Dance All Bomb. If you're not yet a member of this fraternity, please like, subscribe, share this channel, turn on your notification post. Whenever I upload the next episode, you will be notified. Now in today's episode, we have a few topics to discuss, a few articles to review, a few voice notes to review. These are the stories in sports news today. Reggae boys to host Cuba in opening Nations League game. Check it out. I'm here say yo, dance all boom. If I advise you, I see a car go, I'm here say boom them, boom them up. Reggae boys to host Cuba in opening Nations League game, Kingston, Jamaica. Jamaica's reggae boys will start their CONCACAF, Nations League Group Stage League, a Group B schedule against Cuba at home on September 6th. It was announced on Thursday. Jamaica, who were semi-finalists in the most recent staging of the event, were drawn in Group B earlier this month and will play four games between September and October. The reggae boys will then play two away games against Honduras on Tuesday, September 10th, and Nicaragua a month later, October 10th, before hosting Honduras on Monday, October 14th. 41 men's senior national teams from the region will participate in the competition, which is in its fourth staging with games set for the FIFA match windows. Warmington slams bunting after attack on Prime Minister and dual citizenship. Pure problems in the House of Parliament. People check it out. Hey yo, yellow! Dance all bum! Bang! Member of Parliament for St. Catherine Southwest, the Jamaica Labour Party's Everald Warmington is accusing opposition spokesman on national security Peter Bunting of attempting to distract the public from the dual citizen controversy engulfing People's National Party PNP President Mark Golding after Bunting fiercely criticized Prime Minister Andrew Holness as a hypocrite and coward. Bunting was quoted in the media this week as describing Holness as a self-serving hypocrite and coward for seeking to make an issue out of the fact that Golding holds both Jamaican and British citizenships. In a statement Thursday, Warmington defended the Prime Minister and chided Bunting and Golding. The Prime Minister has nothing to do with the actions of the British citizen Mark Golding, which has understandably generated much unfavorable public commentary, Warmington said. The St. Catherine Southwest MP said it must be noted that Golding chose to retain his British citizenship and acquire a British passport, while also possibly renewing the document as an adult. Warmington further argued that Golding moved to acquire a British visa to travel to the UK, while still being a British citizen and possibly traveled on a British visa to the United Kingdom, while being a British citizen. The government MP also accused Golding of blocking Jamaica's move towards a republic, while being a subject of the monarch from which Jamaica would withdraw should Republic status be achieved. Teacher charged for smashing car windshield during argument with child's father in today's headlines. Me, shocking my representing for dance album. A dance album, I do it. You hear that? Tune in. Teacher charged for smashing car windshield during argument with child's father, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, a teacher who allegedly smashed the rear windshield of a vehicle belonging to her child's father during an argument has been charged in relation to the incident. Charged with malicious destruction of property is Felica Hunter, otherwise called Fell, a 30-year-old teacher of Luana District in St. Elizabeth. According to the police, on May 19th, Hunter was involved in an argument with her child's father at her home. During the dispute, it is reported that she used an object to smash the rear windshield of a Toyota Isis motor car. The matter was reported to the police and Hunter was taken into custody where she was arrested and charged. Head of the police division, Superintendent Coleridge Minto, said the teacher will remain in custody and taken to the parish court on Friday. Kingston has been linked to a murder that took place in Newark. Check out this breaking news in today's headline. Hey, it's your girl, Michael Diamond, representing for Dance All Bum. Yeah, everything bum up, don't change it. Stay right here. Tune in. I'm Macadocious. New York, United States. Chief of Detectives for the New York Police Department, NYPD. Joseph Kenny has said that an ongoing conflict in Kingston, Jamaica, is behind the death of 25-year-old Cardell Lester. Kenny made the revelation while speaking at a news briefing on Tuesday. Describing Lester's death as a reprisal killing for a 2023 murder, Kenny said the incident stemmed from an ongoing dispute between warring groups from Denham Town and Tivoli Gardens. There's been some violence back and forth between these groups, said the chief. It starts in Jamaica, and when they come across each other in southern Queens, they seem to get into it, he added. Kenny further shared that Lester was inside a building in Queens when gunfire erupted and resulted in the 25-year-old being shot in the head. 
It's like a one in a million shot. Lester is standing in a hallway. The bullet goes through the hallway and hits him in the head, Kenny continued. Lester, who was visiting the United States from Jamaica, was killed in Queens, New York on May 4th. No arrests have been made. Now, ladies and gentlemen, popular social media personnel, Border Cat has lost his brother, Bertie. It is reported that he was gunned down by unknown assailants in Falkland Portland Drive. DB News will keep you informed. Stay tuned. And that's a wrap for today's edition of Dance Hall Bomb. Thank you for joining us as we dished out the latest entertainment news and celebrity buzz. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay in the loop with all things entertainment. Until next time, stay fabulous and keep shining like the stars. See you in the next episode.